Steve here at Best Choice Trailers. We're here with the Flagstaff Classic 832RBS. Take a look at this unit here. We've got dual awnings outside here. We've got a fiberglass exterior. This is a mounting bracket here for television. You got power here, you got a cable connection. Uh, give you a great area for a picnic table underneath this awning right here. Um, power stabilizer jacks, these are retract and put down so you don't need your drill, you don't need that three quarter inch bit. Uh, I can do that right there. We've got uh, frameless windows on this thing. I'm going to take you for a quick walk around the outside before we go inside. Dual 30 pound propane tanks on here. Uh, dock lighting. Uh, dock lighting does come on and off here with this switch. So easy to hook up. Um, got ourselves an LCI smart jack, uh, one of the top of the line jacks here in the marketplace. Um, coming around here, we have uh, access for they give you big enough battery box to do dual batteries. Comes with a single battery. Look around here, we have a storage unit. Go ahead and take a view inside of that storage unit for everybody. Uh, it's a quite a large unit. Inside there is your uh, your accessory. Uh, remotes to go ahead and turn if your jack had a failure or if your uh, uh, anything on the outside has a failure all that accessories are inside there um, we're now underneath the bed so there's a large storage area here we'll show you from the inside that's underneath the bed um, all these units come with slam latches slide toppers are already installed on top of this unit cutting down on your maintenance any chance of leaks, you don't have to climb up on top of your slide to get some leaves off of there. Uh, we have an outdoor shower right here in between the two slides. This is where all your hookups are, uh, your city water connection. They have an external light here. So if you are working outside, they've thought of everything here and giving you a little bit of what's missing. You don't have to buy a light for your hat. Your uh, dumbbells and everything are right there, all centrally located. There's a rear slide here. Um, these windows do tilt open. And your refrigerator is going to be behind here. 50 amp service. Right there in the back corner. And you have your additional gray valve uh, underneath here. So it has uh, two different areas to dump. Uh, fully walkable roof. They give you a ladder on the back of it. Um, you can put your uh, sewer hose inside the pipe here. We've got a little hitch on here that holds, uh, I believe, 250 pounds. You have a spray port back here, so if your shoes are muddy, things like that. Uh, you have water access on the outside. Uh, this here is how you operate the rear leveling jacks. What you'll notice on these is it's a fully finished slide, um, so they have the same wall color here on the outside. And uh, we're over here to the kitchen area. So we had LED lit underneath both of these awnings. Uh, this is your outdoor kitchen. They give you this extra awning space here. Uh, a lot of times you won't see the awnings on uh, the slide that's over here, and then you don't have that awning that covers everything. So in here we've got you know, a larger size refrigerator. We've got a two burner cooktop. Uh, this cooktop, I'll just go ahead and shut it. If you aren't using the cooktop, conveniently goes out of your way here. It slides underneath that counter, giving you a nice countertop. Uh, you have plugs on both sides, and you have additional outdoor storage. Uh, keeping the trips to go inside the camper uh, down to a minimum. Okay? Our stairs we have here. These are shock assisted. Lightweight. Anybody can go ahead and lift these up and down. Come on, let's go inside the unit. I'm going to head up towards the bedroom. We have a king bed, um, backlit headboard. We've got lights up on top of it, some storage up above. You have little shelves on both sides. You'll notice they went ahead and put outlets um, on both of those shelves so you can charge up your cell phones or anything like that in the evening. We've got a large mirrored door area here with closet rack that's inside of it. A lot of storage. Now inside here we have automatic, the light turns on all by itself. It's a motion activated light. This unit is prepped for washer and dryer. We'll go ahead and take the shelving out of there. You can put in a washer dryer setup if you want. Otherwise, leave it as is. That light will turn itself off. And we have additional storage there. I'm going to show you up underneath the bed here. 
This is that storage unit we talked about from the outside. We've got a couple drawers here on the front face of it. And then that storage from the outside, you can always pick your items up on the inside as well. Little shelf here, TV backer built into the wall. Uh, your power outlet and your t your cable is already plumbed right there. So simple uh, bracket on the wall here, and you could uh, have a TV up off there to keep your shelf. Um, and then a uh, nice dresser here. So coming this way, we have a dual access into the bathroom. So you can come in straight from um, the bedroom. Or you can access it right from the hallway. Plenty of cabinets inside here. A lot, a ton of storage in this unit. We have a radius shower in here. And it has the shower miser water system. What this does is it helps you recirculate the water back into your fresh water tank. It saves you from using water until you get some warm water flowing through here. And then you go ahead and flick the valve and, and then it changes where the water goes. So if you are out camping uh, and, and you're not attached to a city water connection, it'll help save water. Um, once you're out of water, you are kind of got to go fill that tank up again. Okay, we've got a nice vanity here. Mirrored. Building shelving on the wall. we got room for your toothbrushes. Vent fan. And the bathroom actually has a heat duct in the floor there. So, comfort control, all your controls when you come in. The unit is already pre wired for solar. Um, this is where all your panels are for your, your gray water, your battery. You can check all your levels, operate all of your slide outs, operate your awnings, um, turn your lights on and off as you're coming into the camper. Um, it also has a hallway light and then your fuse distribution center is conveniently located right there. Okay, coming on back. This is a dual posing slide unit. So we have all this room once we open up the slides inside of here. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and start on this wall over here. We've got uh, Fury and television built into the wall. We have the sound bars actually built into the cabinet. So you have a little shelf there, put a little knickknacks and dress it up. Uh, below that is your stereo system, which runs your speakers inside and outside. And then you have a functional fireplace. Um, that fireplace does produce heat. Uh, you can turn the heat off as three different levels. So one of the things that they do on this model, again, this is an upscale model. So you have your shades and you also have a privacy shade. So you'll have that in all the corners. A little bit of access uh, coming through here to get a little cross breeze. Uh, dining table and four chairs. This actually about pull the clip on here and it'll open up and be a larger table for you. Um, we have an undermount sink here, stainless steel. These are your drying racks that they give you. Just lay those on there. Residential style faucet. Giving you plenty of room to go ahead and wash dishes. A lot of cabinet space here on the back wall. We got a three burner cooktop. Backlit. And it does come with a complete oven. Or bread storage. A lot of shelves. Nice solid surface countertop. And they give you a little bit of area here with some extra USB ports and power ports. And you can just push them out of the way just like that. Okay? Coming on this wall, we have a pantry here that, again, another motion light inside of there. A little plenty of room for storage. This is a Dometic dual sided. So basically, you have twice the uh, refrigerator and freezer space in this. Okay, we have uh, recliners here that have adjustable lumbar supports, so it's a power recliner that's adjustable, um, and cup holders, center tray, and then the other couch that's in here that's actually folds out, this is a tri-fold sofa, so this will be another additional sleeping area, three fold out into here, uh, give you plenty of additional space, and then we have some plenty of cabinets here up above, 15K AC unit, 
So hey, thanks for watching the entire video. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here. Best Choices RVs.